The following problem deals with Fleury's algorithm. Use Fleury's algorithm to find an Euler circuit. Well, since we're told we're going to find an Euler circuit here, this must indicate that there exists one. We can look at our vertices and decide whether they're even or odd. And we're going to quickly run through this. We have two edges off of A, meaning it's even, two edges off of B, one, two, three, four edges off of C, one, two, three, four edges off of D, one, two, three, four edges off of E, one, two, three, four edges off of F, four edges off of G, one, two, three, four edges off of H, two from I, two from J, and two from K. So we have all even vertices. We can choose any vertex to begin. Now, to begin with, then, we're going to start, let's just start from J. And what I notice is I can move from J to F. Now, once I'm at F, I'm going to think about either erasing it if I have a pencil, but if not, just go ahead and mark it so that you're sure that you are taking care of it and not coming back to it again. When you're going to try to determine where to go next, you have many choices. We want to make sure we choose an edge that is not a bridge. That is an edge that when we take it out would leave us with a disconnected graph. Well, one thing to see is that if we go from F to B, that would not be a bridge, so we can move there. And then I'm going to move along to C. That's going to be my third path. Now, at this point, I can either go down in, in to the left or down, completely down, or to the right. And really, you have a number of choices here because none of these is going to end up being a bridge. I'm going to go ahead and decide to go down back to F. From F, I now have only one choice, and that's to move over in this direction because I've already taken care of all the other edges from F. So that's going to be number five. I'm then going to go ahead and go back up to C. That's six. Now at C, there's only one choice, and that is to move over to D. So that's seven. Once I get to D, I have three choices. None of these edges are going to be bridges, so I'm able to choose any one. So let's go ahead and go up to A, which is num gonna be number eight. Once I'm at A, there's only one choice, and that's to move down to E along that edge. At E, I have one, two, three choices, none of which are going to be bridges, so I can move down, and I'm going to go ahead and go to I. Then I have to go over to H, that's number 11. Now I have one, two, three. But I want to make sure that I'm coming back up and grabbing this edge. And I can do that by moving back to E and then back over. And now there's only one choice. I have to go down. Once I'm at H, again, only one choice as I've taken care of all the others. So I'm going to move over to G and then back to K and then finally back to J. And so we have our Euler circuit. If we want to list that using the vertices, we're going to have to list starting with J. We're going to go F, B, C. Let's find number four that goes to F. Number five takes us to G. Then number six takes us to C. Number seven to D. Number eight to A number nine to E, number 10 takes us to I, number 11 takes us to H, 12 takes us to E, 13 to D, 14 to H, 15 to G, 16 to K, and finally 17 to J, and we have our circuit.